Hi, today I'm going to be testing out art supplies that have been banned and discontinued. As you're about to see, there's a few reasons why these art supplies have gotten banned. Some of the items were just lost to history, some of them just caused way too much chaos, and some of these were just straight up illegal to make. There's a lot of really great stuff to get into. I am so excited. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, the very first banned art supply comes from this 80 year old box of Crayola crayons, which is in incredible condition, by the way. Upon opening it, maybe on second thought, they're not in the best shape. The reason I had to buy a Crayola box that's almost 80 years old is because of this color right here. This is the Crayola color flesh. And as you can see, this color is supposed to represent flesh, as in skin. In 1961, Crayola banned this color just at the start of the civil rights movement because they said, hey, not everybody's skin tone matches this color. And to be more inclusive, they changed the name to peach. And fast forward to now, Crayola has an entire line dedicated to different skin tones so everybody can be included. Wow, okay, they actually do look really, really similar. But definitely not quite the same. Peach looks a little bit lighter and a little bit more orange. I would say that you're not missing too much because they look so similar to each other. This color is really a four out of 10. This next band art supply has been through it. I've actually mentioned this pigment before and uh, let me tell you, I butchered the way it's pronounced. Anything with cadmium in it. This is the pigment cadmium. Cad I still can't say it. It's literally been years and I can't say it. This is any paint that has cadmium. Now this one is actually really cool because cadmium is a naturally occurring element. You can find it in the earth. It makes some of the most beautiful, vibrant paints. So what's its problem you might ask? It's actually highly toxic. <laughs> If any person is exposed to a lot of cadmium, it can create a whole entire host of deadly things. Cadmium is so bad that for four years, the EU just straight up banned it. Like they were like, we're not even gonna deal with this right now. Eventually there's regulations towards it, so it's no longer banned. And currently 13 different states have very strict regulations for cadmium. So now that you know that it's super dangerous in very high quantities, let's try it out. So I went ahead and I bought regular cadmium paint and cadmium free paint. First up will be the cadmium. Oh, this red is like super intense. Even just looking on the camera, you can see how bright it is compared to everything around me. It's like screaming red at me. Wow, it's super pigmented, oof. All right, so there she is, she's looking cute. Next up will be the cadmium. Uh, they look the exact same, like literally identical. In fact, the only thing that's different is that this is heavy body acrylic paint, so it's like a little bit thicker, except one doesn't have the highly toxic chemical that it can <laughs> you, okay? I don't think you're missing much at all with cadmium because the alternatives look so similar. One out of 10. This next band art supply, in my opinion, is the most silly of all of them. And this is an art supply called Kid Feedy. And it's supposed to be like gruff feedy, except like the kid version. Kid Feedy is literally just spray chalk. And just like all chalk, once you add a little bit of water, it comes off immediately. In 2014, a New York politician actually called for the ban of this product. He felt that this graffiti toy could actually lead to kids doing the real thing. But a local lawmaker is is worried that a graffiti stencil kit for kids could lead to bad behavior later on in life. He's calling for the kid feedy set to be pulled now from store shelves. Once you get away with certain things, you become more and more brazen. That concern has led the lawmaker to push for a ban on the sale of a toy he says encourages children to break the law. Now, I don't know anything about that. I don't know what the gateway is between sidewalk chalk to committing a life of crime. I have no idea. And before this toy could actually get banned, Toys R Us quietly pulled it off the shelves and discontinued it. So even though I couldn't get the exact product, I got the next best thing, regular everyday spray chalk. And I also bought the actual Kid Feedy stencils. So I personally have never used spray chalk before and I can't use it inside. So I will meet you in the backyard. Hi, welcome to somewhere I'm never at, outside. The news article made it seem like this works just like spray paint. So I'm assuming that that's how it's gonna work. So let's see. Okay, 
so here's what it looks like done. As you can see, it looks very similar to spray paint. Now let's see how hard it is to try to get it off. Ooh, sweet princess. Boom, that's how easy it is to get rid of it. Literally just brushed it away. Okay, I'm sad to report that after using Kid Feedy, I don't feel like a criminal who's dedicating their entire life to crime. And to be quite honest with you, I feel like the whole kid graffiti concept is just weird marketing anyway. I'm really indifferent about this one getting banned. Two out of 10. This next band art supply, I had the hardest time trying to find the original thing. I searched the internet up and down all over the place. I messaged people. I was scouring the internet. I was on like random forums trying to find this. I just couldn't find it. So I found what is a dupe of it. And this is yet another crayon. This, my friend, is the color Prussian blue. Prussian blue is named after the uniforms of the Prussian army. And what makes this color so interesting is that in 1871, Prussia as a standalone country actually ended and merged with Germany. So for a good 50 plus years, Crayola had Prussian blue. But in the 1950s, Crayola was like, you know what? We're selling to a bunch of kids. They don't even know what Prussia is. The country doesn't even exist anymore. I think we need to change the name. And also a lot of people were getting it confused with Russian blue and this was during the Red Scare. So it just made logistical sense for Crayola to change it up. And so just like that, Prussian blue was changed to midnight blue. First up will be Crayola's midnight blue. And here is Prussian blue. Uh, they look very similar, I'm not gonna lie, but the Prussian blue is a little bit darker. It's a little bit more blue. Compared to the Crayola one, it looks expensive. Like it looks fancy. I'm sad that it's no longer in circulation. This one's a 10 out of 10. And this brings us to the last band art supply. Now this one I saved the best for last. So this art supply is from a very well-known and very hated art supply brand, Rose Arts. Oh wow, these are like literally unopened. How cool is that? And if you're not from the 90s, let me catch you up. The crayons were waxy, the colored pencils would break all the time, the markers were basically useless. As a 90s kid, it was always known as the knockoff Crayola. <laughs> well, a little bit of piping hot tea here is that in the year 2000, Crayola actually sued Rose Art for trademark infringement, saying that their packaging was too similar to Crayola's. And Rose Art ended up having to change up their entire packaging. So I wanted to find out myself just how similar they looked. So I bought both of these brand new, never been open Rose Art products from that time frame. Oh, they look brand new. They're in perfect condition. Wow. They smell like Crayolas. How weird is that? Comparing them side by side, there are so many similarities. It's very clear that Rose Art was trying to look like Crayola. But still, even with all the similarities and the imitation, I can easily tell the two apart. Crayola will forever be that girl. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. And as far as the colored pencils go, the Rose Art ones look vastly different than the Crayola ones. Just like the gold writing is the only similarity. I don't know why Crayola decided to sue Rose Art. I guess they were just in a silly, goofy mood. And if you want to know about the formula, I I did an entire in-depth review on Rose Art. I will leave it in the description box down below. But spoiler alert, they are a little lower in quality. To be honest, the old Rose Art packaging looked a little bit boring. Maybe it's just because I grew up with the 2000s version. I feel like it was just a lot more cooler and kid-friendly. <laughs> So in a weird way, I'm kind of glad the whole situation happened because we got the really cool packaging. Three out of 10. Okay, the art supplies that I'm gonna be working with today are the most random selection of items that I have ever seen. <laughs> This is a combination of art supplies that can barely work on their own, let alone together. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna try to make something decent, something showable. So let's get to drawing.
I don't know how I feel about this. On one hand, I think it's really cool to be able to see all these banned art supplies on one single drawing and knowing all the history involved is really cool. And I'm also impressed I was able to actually make something out of these really weird selection of art supplies. But on the other hand, the chalk is basically peeling off, the rose art crayons are basically candlesticks, and the colored pencils had almost zero pigment to them. It definitely did not turn out how I expected, but I had fun regardless. Anyway guys, thank you so much again for watching. In the description box, I'll leave links to my merchandise, my favorite Amazon art supplies, and my other YouTube channels. And with that being said guys, happy drawing, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next video. Bye!